Hello, everyone. I want to thank you for joining me today uh, as I explain the advantages of a Haver forked return table system in your manufacturing process. Uh, my name is Aaron Richards. I'm a sales program manager for Haver Automotive. Uh, for any of you that are not familiar with Haver, allow me a quick minute to give you a brief background. We are a full service material handling equipment manufacturer based out of the greater Indianapolis, Indiana area. We've got over 30 years of experience as a company in this arena uh, and have core products in essentially all of the major uh, automotive manufacturers, um, not only in the US, but globally, um, and, and have quite a bit in the general manufacturing industry as well. Uh, we specialize specifically in manufacturing of carts, lift tables, turntables, uh, conveyors, indexers, and really any custom material handling or container movement applications uh, that you might run into. Um, specifically today, I'd like to talk about some fork-free cart turntable applications. Um, as the manufacturing industry and processes continue to evolve with lean manufacturing methodology, you're seeing a lot of companies begin a push to eliminate fork truck traffic or fork trucks altogether. Um, and mainly in areas where they would interact with an operator or, or people. Um, this is obviously a safety issue more than anything, uh, but there's a lot of other drivers that, that push towards fork free as well, um, such as delivery scheduling efficiency, uh, driver efficiency, inventory control, improved flexibility in terms of routing and material delivery, uh, just to name a few here. Um, and my goal today isn't to sell anyone on the benefits of going for free, but rather to assist those that have maybe already taken on this challenge. Uh, because as you go down this road, you'll find that uh, there are a lot of unforeseen obstacles uh, to anybody you know, who's already taken this on, I would know. Um, if there are any people or companies out there that are looking for assistance or trying to understand some of the benefits of fork free, please feel, reach, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we've got a ton of experience in this in this arena um, and, and potentially could be able to help you. Um, I'd like to address one of the specific obstacles that we see uh, as people take on for free applications now. So again, as many companies take on the paradigm shift to go to uh, horizontal material movement, i.e. a tugger, and not a fork truck, uh, the equipment that needs to support this process obviously needs to evolve as well. Because um, it's more, there's more to it usually than just slapping a container onto a cart. Um, many of you are going to be likely familiar with uh, turntables and how they can help with manufacturing process. Uh, so what we're going to look at today is a bit of a twist on that. Um, essentially, what you'll find is a few critical items that will drive you to the need for a turntable, and specifically in this case, uh, potentially a cart turntable, depending on whether you're for free or not. So usually the main uh, driver is going to be you can't fit all the material into the station. Um, it just takes up too much space. So in order to display a primary and backup container, uh, your operator would need to potentially walk outside of their station boundaries, which is either won't allow them to meet their cycle time or is a waste of their manufacturing ability. So that is usually the first driver of needing to go to a turntable is that there is not enough space to display an adequate amount of material. Another thing that we see that drives people into this situation is that their line side operators or the people who are being adding actual value to the production process uh, either do not have the cycle time to allow them for a container exchange or they end up waiting on container exchanges which then shuts down your manufacturing process as this takes place. So these, this is another factor that can drive you into the need for an automated container exchange system, i.e. in this case, a turntable. Uh, another issue that we have ran across and, and we're able to address here is when a turntable is required for for free cart, not having to push that cart up onto the deck of the turntable itself. This can become an issue essentially because carts may or may not be light. Generally, they are not in the manufacturing process. You can get a cart that maybe weighs 1,000 or 1,500 pounds. That needs to be pushed up onto the deck of a turntable. Now, that may only be a half inch and it may have a lead-in or a chamfer, but you still create ergonomic and safety issues as your operator continues to do this operation all day long and exchange these containers. So I'd like to address some of these obstacles now. So essentially what we've been able to do is provide a solution to 
to that. So a simple application of a turntable allows you to potentially have more material in the same amount of space. As you can see in the cartoon we've displayed here, the containers and therefore the material pick point is no longer outside of the boundaries of this operator's station. So we've effectively cut the operator's walk in half by giving them a single display point. Um, another app application or advantage of this system basically is that now your operator does not have to maintain a container exchange. They can essentially just hit a button when the first container runs out and the second container will rotate into station for them to allow them to continue their, their process. This essentially can happen while they operate. So as soon as a part is evacuated out of the, out of the container and they've, excuse me, exhausted the container, they walk right over during their process, push the button, the turntable rotate while they are actually doing productive activities. So by the time they come back to the container, you have a new full container and station, and they can continue on their process as they build cars or widgets or whatever, whatever it may be. Um, and this solution essentially we've got all over several different automotive uh, manufacturing facilities and is a core product for us now in helping people to take on the challenges of going forward. Um, here's a video of the operation. Uh, we have more videos if anybody's interested in, in the ability to actually go see live applications. There's several safety features incorporated into these turntables as well, such that if the containers are not locked, which you can see in this locking arm right here, the, the system will not rotate. So if a, a dolly needs to be locked into the system in order for it to actually become active. You also can see these flaps here. Uh, they have basically a spring and a valve underneath that if anything were to contact this, so if any, there was anything in the sweep motion of the actual system, the system will just shut down. Uh, so we can add several different safety factors into these uh, you know, to be able to accommodate a safe working environment. We can also add different uh, applications to them that may help with uh, reach or height issues. We can add lift tables to these potentially if needed. We can add tilt tables to these potentially if needed. They can accommodate for uh, dollies that have rotate tops. So there's several different scenarios here that can be addressed uh, with this simple solution. Um, so again, a quick overview. Um, if you're finding yourself in a station and, and going for free where you potentially have non-value added movement of your operator, this may be an opportunity. If you don't have enough space to display a primary and backup container, this may be a good opportunity. If you're looking to have, eliminate non-value added or wait time from your operators in terms of container exchanges, or they actually are just sitting there waiting on material, uh, this can be a good solution to provide them with a backup container that can come into station immediately. Uh, as well as, again, the safety and ergonomic issues that we no longer need to try to run this um, container or car up a ramp. We're now able to let the casters sit right on the floor and let the piece of equipment do the heavy lifting, if you will. Um, so the main objective here, you know, are, are, are gained by eliminating the need for your, your operator to try to even mess with container exchanges at all, as well as now shrink your material display space to allow your operator to do less walking. Um, so if you have any interest or see a need for these, please feel free to reach out. Um, you can find us at our website here at Havera Auto. Uh, you can also call the office directly at 317-738-0485. You may email sales at Havera Auto or just go to our website and poke around. You can see a lot of the uh, other equipment that we offer and see if there's any other ways that we can help you out. Um, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. Uh, good luck and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.